As it turns out, hidden away in the files of the Dog Island is an unused map bearing the title Rune Cave. By replacing the data of another area, say, Trilly Woods, we're able to visit this place in-game. Note that because the game thinks this is still Trilly Woods, some things like environment noises will be left over, enemy behaviour doesn't work correctly, and most noticeably, the game will place you where you should be if you go into Trilly Woods rather than the actual entrance of the cave. This is why we chose Trilly Woods. Because of this coordinates issue, immediately behind us is not actually the entrance of the cave, but rather this room with the crocodile. Notice how it stays stationary and doesn't react to barking. This is the broken enemy behaviour I was referring to earlier. Also in this room is a star fruit, a kiwi, and a lemon. The water from this room flows into another one. I get the impression that you're meant to be able to swim in this, but you can't actually get down. This part with the bat is blocked off by an invisible wall. This is almost certainly a door or a curtain. Though they aren't loaded at the moment, they are present in the object file, and can be seen if you put them into other areas. This room has a tree stump and a cobra. What kind of animal might be attracted here? This blocked room has some bees in it. Those familiar with the final game may remember the entrance to South Sandy Desert was blocked by these, but they'll also know that they aren't actually enemies, just a blockage. It's interesting to know that they were once intended to be genuinely dangerous. This part of the map is the actual entrance. Because this map is still considered truly woods, exiting here will bring you to Pupsville. While we're here in an area that nobody was meant to visit, might as well take the camera places it was never meant to go, right? This last room to explore has two items, a banana, and a beef jerky. This item isn't in the final game, it does nothing and has no smell. Finally, this part is blocked off. I speculate that this one served a similar purpose to the final rune caverns. So speaking of rune caverns, what was all this for? Well, I think we can safely say that this is an early version of the aforementioned map. Not just because of the designs and the name, but because of its ID. The unused rune cave's map ID is 2100, fitting snugly between 2000, that's Dry Valley, and 2200, Rune Canyon. All three of these were fairly late game maps adjacent to Rune Village. 
The version of Rune Caverns in the final game is not only extremely linear and small, but also has a map ID of 2800. That makes it the last non-town area in the game, even coming after the map used in the minecart minigame. But what's this? In the unused version, there's three exits. All of them have light coming from outside, suggesting it's not just another set of tunnels like in Chiro Caves. Where else could this exit go? Well, this is just a theory, but I think the Ancient Grove might also have been expanded on, making the legendary flower tougher to find. However, for some reason or another, whether it was due to the complexity of it or for time constraints, this was scrapped.